Alrighty everybody, what is going on today? I am going to be showing you how to increase FPS in CSGO. Now I know I already did a video on this, but this is going to be a little, uh, a few other things that I didn't mention on uh, how to increase FPS, uh, especially with you guys with uh, laptops and lower end PCs. That's probably why most of y'all are looking at this uh, video, but first we're going to head to help in options. We're going to go to video settings. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to aspect ratio. And I know I said this in my other video, but I'm just going to go over this real quick for the people who haven't seen that other video. So if you want, you can skip ahead. I'm going to put this the uh, timestamp on the on on the top right here and uh, somewhere on the thing and you can go skip to that. But anyways, for the people who haven't seen it, first you want to go to aspect ratio. You want to switch this to four by three. Now in this tutorial, I'm not going to switch it because I'm going to mess up my whole recording, a bunch of stuff is going to happen, but you do want to switch that to 4.3, and afterwards you want to switch the resolution to 1024 by 768 uh, I right here, normal 4 by 3 then you want to go to 1024 by 768 Now the reason for this is because 1024 by 768 is the most used uh, resolution through pro, pro players, and this will give you probably some of the best FPS that you could get out of your computer resolution wise. Um, the the best you could do is 640 by 480 but like nobody wants to play on that because you won't be able to see anybody anywhere because it'll just look like big you know things. So uh, yeah if I helped you guys with that if your uh, FPS increased for that uh, go ahead and leave leave a like because that, uh, that really helps me out and um, and yeah so the next thing moving on we're gonna go to gl uh, global shadow quality. Now normally you're gonna want to keep this on high and the reason being is let's show you real quick okay say there's a wall and it comes here well this chicken is trying to peek me he doesn't know I'm here but he's gonna want to come around this wall like this is the wall right here he's gonna want to come down from over here I can't yeah I can jump what the hell Okay, that's pretty creepy. Yo, go ahead and leave a like for that chicken. That that really helps me out. Anyways, so you have this wall right here, and this chicken is like, you know, this demon chicken. He's all he's sitting here, and he's like, he's like, man, I just want to shoot this guy on the other side of this corner. Well, if you have global shadow quality on high, you know what's gonna happen? You are going to see this chicken's big fat ass head pop out around that corner from a shadow than if you were to have shadow quality on low. So if I helped you guys with that, go ahead and leave a like because it really helps me out. Anyways, alrighty, so I forgot to mention this, but the global shadow quality for you guys that have really low end PCs, like like I'm talking Windows 7 and like a GTX 280 and like an i2 26,000, I don't even know. I can't even, anyways, you're gonna wanna put this on low, so. You may be at a disadvantage competitive wise, but you know, everybody loves that 60 FPS, am I right? Ah, oh, yes. This chicken, now that you have this on low, this chicken is going to peek your ass, and you know, since he's a demon chicken, he's, he's gonna kill you, so. Uh, if I didn't help you with that, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below and uh, and say I'm, I'm, I'm dumb as shit, and uh, yeah, because that really doesn't help me out, so. And, and yeah, so we'll go on to the next option. So, help in options, video settings, and model and texture detail now I have this on high I have a higher end PC as you see I'm getting like 500 FPS usually I don't get this much I get like two to three hundred maybe even four hundred sometimes but <coughs> model and texture detail you want to have that on low and you want to have everything else on the lowest setting you can have for uh, lower end PCs you want to disable FX uh, FX AA anti-aliasing all this really does is make a smooth appearance for the video game. It just makes uh, lines not look pixelated, which I like to have it on because it messes with my head when I'm looking around corners. But um, if you want that 60 FPS or, you know, even that 60 extra FPS, you, you're going to want to turn that off. But um, down here, multi-sampling, uh, multi anti-aliasing mode, you want to go turn that to none. Not really sure what that does. Let's see. Anti provides a smooth. Okay, so it provides a smooth appears so you want to turn that shit off nobody likes CSGO looking good it's a competitive game anyways shader detail turn that on low effect detail low model texture detail low and and all that and multi-core rendering I did not say this in my last thing but you need to have this enabled if you have it disabled you're playing on a potato I don't know what to do I don't know what to tell you but that should give you you know quite a decent uh, FPS boost so and on to the next um, you're going to want to download this map now I'm gonna leave the description I'm gonna leave a link in the description to this map and basically what this map does is 
it has a bunch of different commands and these commands you can mess with it and you can run different tests but these command commands when you have it on the recommended value it will basically the recommended value and it's not for all computers but a lot of computers this will give you the max FPS boost so if you have all these on you know like all these on all this stuff is now turned off and some of it is turned on like a uh, like a force preload and all force preload is is it loads your um, maps quicker so you have a smoother gameplay but you want to go ahead and do that and then you have after you do that you can run a little FPS test so I'm gonna go run run real quick I'll show you guys just by me putting those on and if you saw in the lobby I gained about a hundred FPS now that's not gonna be the same for everybody I don't want to tell y'all that y'all are gonna get a hundred FPS or not get a hundred FPS because I don't want you know a dislike but if I've helped you so far you know go ahead and smash that like button because it really helps me um affirmative 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 yeet I hear something all you hear is fire cuz I'm spitting fire on the mic like I'm spider-man and I'm sitting spinning webs all over this bitch going through smoke I only have 70 FPS what the fuck after I do this tutorial we'll have it way more FPS cuz I'm the best hell yes Ooh. Yo, uh, leave a like for that uh, quick rap there. Uh, it really, really helps me out. Thank you. Um, so uh, right here you see average frame rate 234. Now if I was playing on 4.3 and I had all those settings that I told y'all to do, I would probably be around like 350 or like 375 or somewhere around there. But the hell just happened. What the hell? What the hell? The demon chicken possessed me! Now on to the next thing. So basically what you want to do is just go through here and see which one basically uh, gives you the most FPS. Now uh, these recommended values don't work for every computer, so I just want to say that. So if you mess with it, you might get better, uh, better, you know, thing. When I first started this, I was getting like 400 FPS before I disabled all this or put it all to recommended. Now I'm getting five or 600 in this lobby. So it just shows you how much this changes. All right, now on to the next thing. Alrighty, so now we're on our desktop, and I'm going to go over launch options. I had a few people ask me about that in the comments. I told them I would make a video about it, so here you go. If you guys already know about the launch options, I'll go ahead and give you a, a timestamp to skip. So, first off, you want to go to library. You want to go to games. You want to right-click on Counter-Strike. You want to go to properties, set launch options. Options. Now, the only one I have in here right now is uh, f minus frequency uh, 144. That's because I was doing this video for y'all and um, I deleted all the ones that I have. So basically, now you guys want to just uh, delete anything you have because you don't want anything uh, interfering with what you are going to be putting in right now. And you want to copy and paste the stuff that I have in the description. I'll put a little uh, area down there for it. And you want to copy and paste this. Now, here uh, on minus frequent, oh shit, minus uh, refresh, you want to put your Alrighty, so here on minus refresh, you want to put your uh, monitor's refresh rate. So mine currently is 144 hertz, so I'm just going to put 144 in there. Same with frequency. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, you want to go ahead and change this to 60. Um, I am going to keep this at 144 since I'm running a 144 hertz monitor. Now, one disclaimer that I want to say about 144 hertz monitors is that if you get a 144 hertz monitor, it does not increase your FPS. I actually think it decreases it by some because it's just taking so much to render all the the um, you know refresh the frame refreshes, but it's not that much. But it it absolutely does not increase your FPS by none. Like if you're running 60 FPS and you have a 144 hertz monitor, you're doing something wrong because if you're not getting enough frames to cover how many hertz you're getting, you can't see 144 hertz. Or if you're only getting 68 frames a second, you will only see 68 hertz a second. And it will be choppy as hell and it will not work. So if I helped you with that, go ahead and leave a like because it really helps me out. Anyways, alrighty guys, so on this video, I'm not going to go over everything about the launch options. I'll leave what each one does down below so you guys can check it out because I had somebody ask me about that. Uh, I don't want to take too much time in this video. So yeah, just look in the description to see what they are all about. So what this minus high thing does is it sets CSGO to high priority. So it makes your computer run the game at its full potential. The next thing I want to talk about is graphics cards. So 
AMD users, I'm going to show you this because I had a lot of people asking me about how to do stuff on AMD. Now, the settings that I did in my last video, I could not find anything or any way that I could uh, replicate that on AMD. So I'm just going to tell y'all how to update your graphics driver because there might be a lot of y'all that don't know how to do it, especially brand new gamers, PC gamers that just got a computer. Um, so first you want to do is you Google AMD drivers. And what you want to do is you want to hit the first link that pops up. And then you want to go up to here where it says support and drivers. You want to go to find your driver. Now all you want to do in this is you want to find your GPU, your graphics card, and then you want to find your operating system and what bit you have. So if you have the Radeon RX 580 or 570 or 560 series, you want to, and you have Windows 10 and you have a 64 bit, you're going to want to hit that install. And then, you know, you'll have the, you'll have the newest, but I can't actually show you guys that because I have an Nvidia graphics card and that would uh, mess with some things. So I'm not going to do that uh, on this tutorial, but I did show you guys how to get to it. So hopefully that helps uh, leave a like if it did, uh, that really helps me out anyways. Um, so after that, I'm going to show you how to core park. Now this is basically for older um, operating systems. So like windows seven or something like that. And, um, it may work on some higher end PCs, but most of the time it doesn't. I will be doing this to my computer just to show you guys how to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to have a difference on my computer. Um, so first you want to do is you're going to download the link in the description. <clears throat> Afterwards, you want to drag it onto your desktop. So I have it right here already. You're going to double click. You're going to go to unpark CPU. You're going to hit this .exe file. You're going to hit yes when the thing pops up. Y'all probably couldn't see that. Afterwards, you want to grab this little box. You want to press check status. It's going to look through your computer and the cores. And afterwards, you're going to hit unpark all. Alrighty, now after that, it should say ready. You're going to have the, you're going to exit that out and you should have a FPS and in, uh, increase. Now, if you don't, it doesn't always work for every computer, but if it did, make sure you leave a like because that really helps me out. Thank you. And um, alrighty guys, so I actually forgot about one thing. Uh, I, I had it in my notes, but I just looked over it. Um, so basically what you want to do is come down here and hit run. And what we're going to do is delete the temp files, which they're temporary files that your computer uses to basically uh, render or uh, load things faster. And a lot of the times when you go into something and it, and it puts a temp file on your computer, you're never actually going to ever go back to that. And deleting these can actually help you increase your FPS tremendously. Like sometimes when this is cluttered, uh, you can just go to it and and if you delete all these, you might get like another 30 FPS or something. This is on a medium sized rig. You might get like two or, or five FPS, but every FPS counts, like I said. So um, let me show you how to do this again. So you right click, you go to run, you get a percent temp percent. You're gonna hit okay. You're gonna come up to here. Make sure this says your name uh, app data local temp and then you come over here and what you want to do all these files are basically clogging your computer up and they don't look like big files but they're running in the background which is not very good so all you want to do is drag your mouse over all of these files okay I have 152 selected and some people might even have hundreds of gigs of files especially if you use something like GeForce experience and shadow play so afterwards, you just want to hit delete and check this, do this all for continue items, click continue, and then it should pop up with this thing. The action can't complete, be completed because the folder or file in it is open in another program. So what you want to do is you want to go do this for all current items and you want to skip. That way it keeps the files that your computer uses on a regular basis or is currently using. So afterwards, you should see a big FPS boost. And if you like that and that helps you, go ahead and drop a like and because that really helps me out. Um, if your drive gets past 80% full like capacity and it gets filled, so I probably should start deleting stuff now. But if it gets past 80%, you'll see you getting lower FPS drop or lower FPS and you will see major FPS drops. That's because your computer doesn't have enough actual um free space to run the games and have all those temp files running through it as you're playing but what you want to do is if it's over 80 percent you want to delete anything that you can to get it over to like 50 percent that's the safe place or you could buy external hard drive and transfer all your files over there 
uh, what you want to do is just go and delete any files that you have like videos I have big videos that are in here that take up like 50 gigs every video so I have to do this often and that will give you a big increase in some of those people that are having problems when you shoot and it drops your FPS this may help I am not too sure about that but it, it could help a little bit so and if you like that go ahead and leave a like because it really helps me out hit that big red button I have a lot of new content coming out every single day videos I am trying to entertain y'all as much as I can uh, like I said we just hit 500 subscribers so uh, that's a big milestone for me and I want to thank everybody for watching this video supporting liking uh, tweeting me asking questions I love responding to comments and yeah if it liked hit that red button join the frizzery today and I'll see you guys in the next one